All right, guys, um, welcome to our live stream. We are so sorry about the technical difficulties that happened before. Uh, we are now uh, waiting for Amsha to join us. He will be with us very soon. So as you guys know, this is the, the final day of the, um, of the SG Premier League, the Singapore Premier League. And we are here to live react to what happens. I will be with you guys in one minute. But until then, hold on tight. We'll be there with you. All right, so this is a quick mic test. This is a quick mic test on our end, just to make sure that things are working. Hello?
Sorry, guys. We are still facing some technical difficulties. So if you cannot hear this, incredibly sorry. We will be with you. All right. So who's excited for what's going on right now? So we do have Haugang versus Albrex uh, happening at Haugang. Uh, at um, actually, I don't know where that is. So, but I think it's at uh, at Haugang Stadium, where Haugang is the home team for today. Uh, and of course, we also have the Eastern Derby happening at the old Tampanese, uh, the, the the our Tampanese hub. I'm sorry. Did I say old Tampanese hub? Uh, basically, basically, uh, we are bas uh, we're still trying to figure out some technical stuff, but I'm sure it should be here with us very soon. And I hope the streaming works out smoothly. This is the first time we are trying something like this. Uh, and I hope you guys can put up with us while we try to bring to you two games and our reactions at the same time. So as you guys know, there is a lot depending on today. We have um, Tampanese versus Geelong, the Eastern Derby. There is Eastern Derby honours to be had. Uh, and But more importantly, there's a lot riding on that match right now. Because if... Tampanese were to win this game and Alberic, or, or rather Tampanese have to win this game. If they do not, they have no chance of winning the, the, the Singapore Premier League today. Uh, so there's a lot riding on that match for Tampanese Rovers fans. But more importantly, there is a lot riding on um, for in that match for Gilang as well because they need to win this match to make sure they can get in to the AFC Cup. Um, so, so as you guys know, in, in Asian football, you get two tiers. There's the Asian Champions League, which goes to the best performing local team among all the teams. And then there is the Asian, uh, the, the, the Cup, which is the equivalent of the Europa League in Europe where the next two local teams get to go. So right now, Lion City Sailors have secured their place. No problem. They have an easy night tonight. Uh, they didn't really perform to their expectations, but they are in the AFC Cup. Uh, however, there is a battle between Ballester Khalsa and Geelang International. Ballester Khalsa and Geelang International are level on points right now, separated by goal difference. And what happens today will decide who goes to the AFC Cup. And if that is not drama enough for you, we have a lot more drama. All right, all right. I, I see a friend of ours. I'm sure, is that you? What's up? Uh, well, we're still waiting for Amshad's audio to connect up. What's uh, up? We, we have our two... Um, we have our screen set up going on. We can watch both our matches here on our Zoom screen. It's a bit laggy, I know. But um, how are you doing, man? I heard you had an eventful day. Yeah, an extremely eventful day, man. I've uh, been up yeah, since yeah. like... I think 6 a.m. All right. Can you, can you say that again? I've been up for like since like 6 a.m. And I had like so many things happened today. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm losing some audio here. I will be with you in a minute. Oh. All right. Let's see. Come on. There we go. That's much better. All right. You can hear me, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, you were having quite a big day today, haven't you? Yeah, such a good game. <laughs> well, the boys are back. The original match day, SG. What was that show called? Footballer. Footballer. Footballer yeah. crew is back. Um, so I was telling these guys what was happening today. Um, basically, if Geelong has to win this game, 
to basically secure AFC Cup or, or try have a chance at getting the AFC Cup. Tampa Nese have to win this game today to have a chance at winning the championship. On the other hand, Haugang really doesn't have much to play. Sorry. Other than this pride. season, man. Yeah, what a season. What a huge downfall. Yeah, man. You guys started well. You all had yeah. Stipe. You all had love signings. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. But but they can do wonders today by keeping Alvarex from winning this game. And potentially, we might see our first ever our first ever local winner of a Singapore Premier League today. Yep. And yeah, not first ever. Uh, first ever in I mean, like five first years. First ever in how many years? Uh? Yeah. <laughs> what's, think, your, uh, what's, your, what's your gut feel today? How are you feeling? I'm feeling optimistic. After everything that's happened today, I think uh, I just need a little bit of optimism. Uh, hopefully, Haugang keeps Alvirex to a nil-nil draw or, uh, or at least... You know, at least a draw. That's what I'm asking for Haugang. And for Tampanese, uh, it's all yours. <laughs> you just got to win this. <laughs> yeah, I think I think there's no excuses for not winning this, right? So, which yeah. is which is They're so basically... Close. They're so close. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we heard the news today that basically it's so close that they're not even going to bring the trophy out of Jalan Besar until it's like 20 minutes to go. All I say is you guys yeah. better not take grab, you know, because grab might take like 10 <laughs> minutes to get to your place. Yeah. So the, we have no idea where the trophy is right now. It could be at Haugang. I mean, uh, right now it's at Jalan Basa. It's at Jalan Basa, so okay. Yeah. So I, I don't know if there's any way FAS can live tweet this to us to say where the trophy is. That would be interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's going on at Haugang Stadium now? And it's all nil-nil across both matches right yep. now. Uh, well, haven't seen much chances from both sides, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's. Oh. I see Geelang is being a bit physical today. Who, who do you think, who do you think has a good chance here on the Haugang Alberics match? Do you, I mean, you guys have literally no foreign signings right now. Uh, we have one. Uh, Zaki. Oh, the Zaki has he Valiev. played? He he's been playing. Uh, he had his first start last week. Uh, the last the last game. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Other than that, he's always been like substitute, like yeah. and stuff. I I don't know why. Maybe because uh his style of play is like coming in to break somebody's legs. <laughs> no, really, he just comes in. Like... <laughs> well, well, yeah. If it's effective against some teams, and I think. I think it'll be very effective against them, uh, in, against Alberts, <laughs> no? Because I think they're a very mobile, very fast team. So yeah, yeah. someone who can, you know, stop such players can be a big asset today. Yep. Yeah, I mean, but but so I know I know one of our friends, um, uh, Aaron, who is um, who is with the SG Football Podcast. He is trying out this um, fantasy football kind of thing are you part of that did you sign yeah, up yeah i did i did so we are in the pilot program who's pilot who's in program. your who's in your strikers uh i in my strikers mm. i have jordan webb <laughs> oh all right all right yeah i have jordan webb uh and i think did i put hoshino in uh-huh i have, I have to review it also. again because i kind of yeah, so that's the other yeah. thing, right? Like yeah. we we do we are not showing that match, but Ballester is having a big match today. Yeah, yeah. If they can, basically, if they don't mess it up too bad today, they can go back to AFC Cup football after what 2015. And to be honest, that's I'm I'm actually uh, hoping for that. Like I'm yeah. actually looking forward to see Albi uh, Ballester play in the AFC Cup. It, yeah, that's a, that'd that's be interesting. Nice to see. Okay. That's interesting. No, 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 I have I have Web and Doi. You have Web and Doi, yeah. Okay. okay I have yeah. I have Doi and uh Kopitovic, I think. I hope nice. Kopitovic can do something. <laughs> yeah, for, for, for those who are watching this stream right now, please ignore what I'm about to do. Okay. That definitely was not alcohol. Yeah, that's just apple juice. Oh, that's wait, just juice. apple juice, yeah, guys. 
do not drink alcohol kids. Yeah. Um, yeah, so don't. Fires Hassan being an annoyance, man. Yeah, man. How, how, how would you feel if Fires Hassan wins a Premier League at Albert? I mean, I'm, I'm happy for him. Uh, yeah. Used to be a Haugang uh, striker. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if he wins the trophy with Albirex, then no, well deserved, I guess. Well deserved, I would yeah. say that. I mean, he's played quite a part in Albirex as well. So, yeah, what a signing, though, right? Yeah. I mean, you, I was surprised when he yeah. signed for Albirex, to be honest. Yeah, because I, mean, I didn't see him. I didn't see him sign for any club after Warriors got disbanded. Mm. I assumed that you know he he would probably just. Drift yeah. off like like how a few of the other players, especially when he didn't get picked up by Tanjung Paga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, Tanjung Paga is the former Warriors. For... <laughs> yeah. Basically, he's the former Warriors, right? Yes. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I mean, I I I would again have like mixed feelings in one case because like he would have been a crucial part given what oh Boris on Boris is on come on oh, score oh. Oh, Gordon, go. <laughs> come on <babe. laughs> uh, Aaron I mean Aaron if you're listening to this you need to get your fantasy Premier League out to everyone yeah yeah, yeah. if we get that fantasy Premier League out there yeah. it'd be so it'd be nice yeah because right now I'm just saying there's, there's nothing much to play for I don't have a team, and still we're here. We are <laughs> cheering for Ben yeah. and Kopitovic. Who's who's your captain on your fantasy uh, Premier League? Kopitovic, I think. because uh, I, I I really feel Kopitovic will get a goal tonight. I have a, I have a feeling Gabriel Quack would score. So <laughs> uh, I can't yeah. I cannot put Gabriel Quack on as my captain. You did. You cannot. Yeah, I I did. <laughs> for 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 personal reasons. No no no, just. I just felt like he was captain material. <laughs> he is. I mean, yeah. I mean, how about how about like Gabriel Crack, the real player? Do you think he was potentially captain material one day? Maybe in the future. Maybe. Yeah. Unless unless uh, Haris Harun decides to play till he's like forty. <laughs> quite quite possibly. Unless he decides to pull possibly. a or or buy or. <laughs> So okay, I am going to try something with our our Zoom broadcast right now because right now I know we are switching between Amsha and me. So if something goes wrong, please stand by because <laughs> this is the first time we are live streaming something using uh, Zoom. So let me try to get all of us together at the same time. Um, All right, so maybe not. So unfortunately, you guys might have to deal with the two of us switching in between us right now. Uh, but yeah, it's an interesting day. So we are about 20 minutes in. As it stands, Alberex is on top of the league uh, just by one point, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just pull out that, that table right now for you guys. Um, so yes, let's take a break from those matches and take a look at that table right now. So uh, I'm just looking S- at the, I'm just looking <laughs> at the comments. Uh, <laughs> Everyone right, zero so, zero. Yeah. Right, let's look at the comments. Yeah, I'm looking at which the comments. Which one? Which one? Uh, no, I'm not looking at our stream comments. Our stream comments. I got yeah, comments. Yeah, we have comments uh, in the live <laughs> chat. Uh, so yeah, quite a number of guys are tuning in. If you guys are listening, thank you so thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Z says he's got to go and scold Clement now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, please uh, up, give him a Thanks good, for good screwing. All right, th- th- a big shout out to everyone who's joined us. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, Ian yeah, for so we Ian. Have a, Is that Ian for Ian? Ian for Ian who says hope Tampanese wins the, the league. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, Tampanese is the only local team that can actually that has a chance of winning the league <laughs> yes so oh oh whoa, 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 whoa. how good oh, oh man come on, come on. Oh. how did he, he miss that? Is... Who's uh, that? Who's that i don't know 
Farhan. Farhan, man. Kid's talented though. Come on. Yeah, look at that run from Nikesh. Whoa, but what a run. Uh, Almost there. I think he just Almost pushed there. the ball a bit too far. Yeah, maybe too much weight on that pass, but... Yeah. Oh my goodness, that was close. Yeah, Elvin, come on, Haugang. And meanwhile, in OTH, everyone's on the floor. Yeah, I think I think most of us uh, agree that we want a local team to win the league, no matter who. I mean, it doesn't matter. But uh, I think I think a local team winning the league would be good for the future. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think it's been a while, and I think Tampanese winning the Singapore Prem- uh, Singapore Cup last season itself had a big effect. Yeah. But I think it's about time. <laughs> but you know, last season, uh, Warriors almost oh, <laughs> won man. the AFC Cup, right? Ow. Man. <laughs> I mean, how, how, how crazy that would be. Like, like, uh, like how Gang's chances that AFC get stolen away just because of Warriors. But we, and, we <laughs> probably wouldn't have because we were so badly managed that we lost our AFC license. So we oh, probably right. wouldn't have qualified. Oh, yeah, you guys lost your AFC license. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we could have won the Singapore Cup and not called yeah, it. It's a free kick for Albrex. Uh, oh no! You no. need to be careful no. of these. Open here. Open here. Hold on, yeah. Look up. That's it. I th- I think it's been a very cagey start across every single match right now. So if I am. I'm monitoring the 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 scores as we go along. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'm monitoring the the results of the entire league as we go along. And right now, from what I see on Google, no goals scored anywhere. <laughs> so basically, it's it's no changes to the standings as it stands. Alberex wins the league. Champions go to the Champions League. The Lion City Sailors formerly known as Home United, go to the Champions League. And, well, who expected this? Ballester Khalsa <laughs> is, is, is going to the Champions Were they the wooden last season? Were they? I, yeah, I think so. Yeah, at least at the bottom, right? Yeah. I Towards the bottom, the uh, it's either them or Young Lions. <laughs> now it's either Tanjung Paga or Young Lions. I think Tanjung Young Paga Lions for sure. Still? Or what? No. I mean, I mean yeah. It's, but why is Young Lions still around though? Yeah. <laughs> a corner for Haugang. And a corner for Geelong. <laughs> it's, what was that? Someone someone said um, Young Lions versus Tanjong Paga is, is also exciting because it's a, <laughs> it's the final for the bottom <laughs> position. <laughs> right, it's a corner for Haugang. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, uh, that's that's nah, that's over just here. Far. Okay, oh, then. They, they still got it, they still got it. Okay, another ball coming in. Oh. All right, Gay Langston for a corner. Goal, goal. It's a goal for Gay Langston. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do I have anyone from Gay Langston? Who's got? Was, was it Barry Maguire? Is it Barry Maguire? I hope it is. Cause I hope it is because he's on my team. Yeah, he's yeah. on my team. <laughs> hey, Ultra Zegos. Hey, social Try distancing, guys. Come on. <laughs> hey, UE. I know you all tested negative, but come on, man. <laughs> very, very, very good. Well taken. Was, good one. was it? Was it Maguire? Maguire, Maguire. Yeah, all right. right. I'm gonna get points. From I'm it. gonna get points too. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, guys, I'm actually really looking forward for the Fantasy Premier League mm-hmm. uh, to be rolled out. Uh, hopefully soon enough, so that uh, everyone can join us uh, and be so we excited. Have, we have we have news of a uh, goal at LCS as well. Lion City Sailors are up Sailors one nil. Nice. Dallas stayed down, which means Gaylang right now is going to is going to the AFC Cup. Oh, oh, man, who said local football is not not it's, interesting? It's yeah, it's exciting when 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 it's this tight, you know. Where... I mean, it's been this tight every season, other than maybe the year where Alberic did not lose. Yeah, every season is tight. You yes. go into last two games without knowing who's going to win. Yep. So right now, Gelang is is. Claiming their right to the, the the pride of the East. Yeah, it's the Eastern Derby. Uh, it's quite cool that they actually allow fans in today yeah. for the game. I think it's a pilot project, right? Mm-hmm. 
a, a good friend Hopefully of ours. Hopefully more. Uh, yeah, a good friend, friend of ours. ours yeah. Tony he did get swabbed today and he was saying that it wasn't painful. It's not the usual swab you get. Uh, and yeah, so I think, I think, I think, I think it's, it's progress for both Singapore and Singapore football that we have some fans there. Yeah. Did Young Lions score against? Did they? Hey, I hello, thought I saw you. something like Young Lions. So, so match day SG's first ever fan is has tuned in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I you did. Yeah, local football is nice to watch, man. Yeah, man. It's it, I I I think I can say this for all of us, uh, but that. It's a big part of us. Hao Gang is Hao Gang is having a chance. Hold on. What is going on? I can't see the ball though. Yeah. Lighting Maybe is... try. I can okay, try right, to. Right, right. Ah. Maybe I can maximize that screen a bit more. You know, at least this live stream is ongoing, right? You, uh, I mean, I'm a bit more level-headed now. If I was watching yeah. this in my living room, <laughs> probably be screaming. Screaming. Yeah. Like, <laughs> cursing and swearing it. Yeah. Clement, man. Uh, well, uh, yeah, do you think Clement? Scored, yeah. Do you think Clement will last this this season? Or do I don't know. A... I don't know. He might uh, be gone. Haugang just had I mean, a shot. I, yeah. Which is nowhere near that, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about Clement? Uh, should I be honest or should I be politically? Be honest. Correct? I mean, if, if, if it's going anyway, be honest. I, th- I think I think I think it's time for him to go. Mm-hmm. I mean, you had a you had one of the best squads last season, yeah. and no complaints finishing uh, in, in uh, going to the AFC and everything. But I think we could have done better last season, way better, especially at, at the last game last season against uh, DPMM. Uh, that was a very disappointing game. But you know, I had hopes that coming into season this season that we would uh, retain. Uh, majority of the players which we sort of did but we lost a few key players uh, we lost Zulfami Arifin we lost Afik Yunus we lost Faris Ramli mm-hmm. and then yeah. but we still had Stipe and uh, everything was going well and then COVID happened you know and uh, sold Stipe off to uh, Lion City Sailors um, then two of our foreign signings Zach Anderson and Charlie uh, both left before the season could even finish. Uh, so it's pretty sad and disappointing. You know, the the club can't replace. They couldn't find replacements for these people. You know, they couldn't find. I mean, especially for Stipe. You know, mm-hmm. uh, losing Stipe meant that we lost the top scorer. You know, and and yeah. I mean, forget forget top scorer, just the talent that Stipe just the talent, brings. Yeah, you know yeah. the balls that he he yeah. plays and. Mm. I mean, you you see the difference he made uh, yes. since he joined like Lion City Sailors. The moment he signed for Lion City Sailors, they started playing. <laughs> <all> right. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, they were better. bottom, and now they're in the not bottom like they were in the bottom, and now they're in the jump. Uh, they had like, a bad start. They had a rough start. Yeah. How come had a rough start too? We lost to Geelong. Yeah. Albrecht had a rough start too, and then yeah. but since the restart, that's yeah. how yeah. they winning this. Could it be because oh, of Japanese? Could it, could it be because of Fyros Hassan? No, it is totally because of Fyros Hassan. Yeah, definitely. And we both like Fyros Hassan, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think it's also because of Hyrulism, Juma. Alaw. Yeah. Hey, Alaw, fan I, of the show. Thank you yeah. for yeah. supporting us through the years. It's been a while since I've seen him live, yeah, you man. know? Hey, but I hope they give him a medal yeah. <laughs> if, if this happens. Do you know something very interesting I found out recently? Yeah. Uh, by Bayaki, uh-huh. by being such a talented footballer and winning so many AFC Cup, uh, uh, Suzuki Cups, has mm-hmm. never won a Singapore Premier League. Has never won a S League. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah so because yeah. so, 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 he, I think, I think he played most a lot of his seasons overseas, right? So yeah, overseas and whoever, whenever he played here, they never won. Yeah, he played Warriors in twenty seventeen, right? In, 
2017. Yeah, yeah. he played was... like Lions 12, so he played a lot of overseas. Yeah. When he was I a Warriors, a uh... yellow card at Hauga. Yes. Who got a yellow card? That, yeah, that, that that season was weird. We had we had national team names like yeah, Bayern, you had Madhu. Charlie, Madhu was there, right? I do was no, Madhu was in the uh, season before. Okay, yeah, you guys yeah. had uh, Sh- Sharili Shark. You guys had, uh, yeah, on, we had name? a lot. Yeah, is our stream laggy? Yeah, it's a little bit laggy. Yeah, it's pretty Sorry, choppy. Guys, we are basically using Zoom and relying on it right now. So let's hope this fixes itself. So we also have a goal that we can confirm happened at Young Lions versus Tanjong Paga. Young Lions have taken the lead. And right now, Tanjong Paga, the new, the, on the grand comeback to the, the, the SG Premier League, are at the bottom. Yeah, how goes on the counter? Oh, man. Uh, slip! <laughs> <laughs> I was going to slip. Uh, we don't know who's called. As soon as we know, we will bring you that information. Yeah. So Iron Iron for Ian says if if Gelang go to AFC Cup, they must get a lot of new players, and I think yeah. that is the no. But they should keep Barry though. Yeah. Oh wow, Albrecht almost. Tampanese, not bad. Tampanese is pushing hard. I think they have to, right? They have to. They have to. They got everything to lose. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if, the, if the if the goal was a Champions League, they already have it. Yeah. But I think I think Gavin wants to push for the win, and uh, yeah. Tampines just has to step it up, you know. Gavin, Gavin did say. Gavin, I love watching his interviews, though. Yeah. <laughs> I love watching Gavin's interviews. It, it just no smile, just no smiles. Yeah. My my, my favorite was my favorite was uh, the big not... head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh no, Albirex. Uh, okay, nice. That's a good save. But that was a replay. What the heck? Yeah. yeah. I was actually looking at the Tampanese game. Yeah. Because it's who's like the, who's the keeper? Oh, Ridwani, Hao Gang has four shots and Albirex has only one. Interesting. Hao Gang hasn't played too badly, to be honest. Looking at those screens. Where was this kind of playing throughout the entire <laughs> season? You see, look at that. Look at that. You're playing so whoa, much better today. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Oi. Is that in? Ah. No, that's a save. How how interesting would that be if Hao Gang were to take the lead and Tampanese then has to get two goals? Well, that would be an amazing game. Yeah. <laughs> Stakes are high though. Yeah. Stakes are really high. Oh, that is a nice bit of skill by Afik No. A talented player. Yeah. I think Hao Gang has a talent. They just like, like but they're very much... They need a coach like uh, Marco from Ballester to yeah. use the talents they have the best possible way. Yeah, I think Marco is a good coach. Which is, I, I think that's why I want to see him, his team in the AFC Cup. Oh. And who knows, maybe a big name signs just, for Ballester. Oh. Oh. Good, good play so though. Yeah. Good play. So many chances. I think they must have got the news that uh, Tampanese is losing. They're wasting this much time. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, it's, it's only the 30th minute. It's, it's 30, 35th, 34th minute. Yeah, it's a bit weird to see Albrex wasting time. Yeah. <laughs> it's usually other teams against Albrex waste time. Yep. Jordan Webb's got himself a tackle and a rather <laughs> promising position, I guess. Just don't get red carded again. Yeah, just yeah every, every, everybody's tired of his, his nonsense. Correct. Just pulling him and get up. Yeah. But is that a... Is that a... Yeah, yeah. It, it is a free kick to a true Tampanese, so... Jordan Webb scores with a header. I have two of my guys. Come on, so Boris. <laughs> Come on, Boris. Oh, what's going on there? No. Still, still is that with Tampanese. Whoa. Uh, Damn it. So, Hy- Hyrule uh, from. Oh. 
Oh, so close. So close for Tampines. That is the evergreen Daniel Bennett having a shot. Almost like a striker, you know. Yep. So as it stands, Lion City Sailors have gone two up against Ballester Khalsa. So I think Ballester has to win this, man. And yeah, or, but no, but Gelang has if, to, if, if Gelang loses. Correct. So as it stands, it's all pretty much everything is down to the Tampanese versus Gelang match. Gelang wins this. Uh, or oh, I think even gets a draw, they are through to the AFC Cup. Tampanese wins this. They are the winners of the Singapore Premier League. Yep. What a game. <laughs> What a game. So we are 35 minutes, 36 minutes in now. So we have about 10 more minutes to go in the first half. So Score Pat- bits. 2-0. Sefula Akbar scored for Akbar. LCS. Oh, Hao Kang is playing really well, man. Yeah. They're, they're And I'm actually well. surprised. Yeah. That's why you don't hear so much complaints today. <laughs> how, how seriously, the seriously where were this? Where where was this kind of play? Yeah. The past few games. I don't know yeah. why we were parking the bus. Yeah. I think that was Sorry, your question was? No, I think this is the beauty of not having anything to lose, eh? You yeah, just play probably. your football. Yeah. Well, Madhu, man. How many assists did Madhu have recently? In the, I think there was one game where he assisted most of the goals or something. <laughs> yeah, he came on. I think it's against Albrecht. Yeah, game game changer, you know. You know, I think one thing that said is like you can have so many shots, but Albrecht takes one shot and it goes in, and yeah. it's just. I think again, it's it's a point about how the game is 90 minutes. It's not just one moment or one goal, right? Yeah. So, man, I can't take my eyes off the Tampanese game right now. They are it's <laughs> so much riding on that game. Yeah. So if you guys are listening in to this right now, and uh, you guys want something a bit more mobile, something a bit more where you can walk around a bit more and listen to, uh, go join the SG Football Podcast Discord channel. Uh, a lot of our friends are there. It's a, it's very fun to be there. It, here right now, it's just the two of us talking. Over there, you can go lend your uh, voice. Yeah. But if you have time to spare, please go give us your comments. We will respond. Who didn't say it's Pride of the Northeast? <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm looking at the uh, at the Tampines Gelang match. <laughs> There's a guy named Hanif there, so somebody somebody type someone ban that Hanif guy from this channel, please. I read that and I thought, I said, why why would you want to ban me? <laughs> <laughs> let's let's, let's, let's go take a look at what Hanif yeah. Manap says. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a bunch man. of puppets. <laughs> <laughs> no, some of these comments are actually gold. Yeah, man. I'm gonna I try and gonna keep say, up uh, with the comments as well. <laughs> see yeah. if that can work out. Pathetic mentality from Hao Gang. Not today, not today. Yeah, but see the thing is like all today. these people who complain about local football, right? They're still here commenting. Yeah, they're still watching. So yeah, what is up, Mr. Billy Bear? Up. Mr. Billy Bear has joined our chat. He's clearly a Hao Gang fan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Satu hati, satu Hao Gang. Come on. Too many injuries, losing key players, wrong tactics is the cause of. Hao Gang's downfall definitely 100% agree. Yeah, Probably, and I think I think I think, least, I think an overhaul is is due for Hao Gang. I think the overhaul happened last year. I think what yeah, what and then it is, happened again. There's a bigger question: is if you guys do overhaul, can you sustain it? No idea, man. I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean, you know, we know we saw Home United. Um, For the longest time, they weren't doing very well, mm-hmm. and then very slowly but surely they built upon what they have, and yeah. you know then then they became LCS and they're doing quite well. Uh, but same for Geelang, they're I doing feel. quite well because they have Stipe. Yeah, but same for Geelang, I feel because Geelang is not a club with a ton of money. Yeah, it's not a club that necessarily does well all the time. 
Mm-hmm. But I feel they're well managed. Oh, almost. Uh, you see, how, how come there's so many shots and chances? Yeah, man. What's happening today? I don't know. Did like, Stipe Spirit just like fly in? Bloody hell. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I should not swear on the... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> Strange YouTube things. Mm-hmm. Tampines have six shots, but the scores the score tells otherwise. I like I like how so, so many people are like confident that Tampines would win. <laughs> Web too much. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Albrex. Right, 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 right. Look at the. Speed of the counter. I'm actually wondering why uh, they haven't put Enders up front yet. <laughs> <laughs> he did start off his career as yeah. a striker. I mean, I mean, Clement did mention that uh, that was one of the options, and I mean, last game nothing to lose. Why not, right? Yeah. So, so, so who is your striker right now? Shawa. Franz of Cliffy. Fan Zukifli, Shawa, Lanwa. Um, but they're not really out and out strikers. No, no, they're not. Our out and out striker is in is gone. <laughs> yeah, they didn't yeah. replace they're him. They're attacking midfielders. Yeah. So I think I think our, our thoughts are being agreed upon. Um uh, they were saying Stipe Plaza but carried Hauga, which is yeah. true. Yeah. You can see that, I guess. I, I, I don't think it's just Stipe Blasi, but I think but it's, a, it's a mixture of some very talented foreign signings that you all had. Yeah. It's just the... It's just a, a, Zach Anderson was a beast. Yes. It's just... And, and he spends, though. It was so, <laughs> start, so beastly off a movement, that the referee yeah. could not yeah. start it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. He uh, even influenced was, uh, Lionel Tan because I never saw Lionel Tan playing with his pants like that. Until yeah. <laughs> Zach Anderson was playing in Hong Kong. What, what, what's your Oof. take on refereeing standards Oof. this season? This season? As, oh. as, same as every other season. <laughs> not very good. It's not that great. Not that good. Could be better. Alright. I see Lion City Sailors are 3 nil up three against Ballester. So, all to play for. You know, uh, all to play for Gela. <laughs> It reminds me of the uh, SG Footy memes. They posted a meme where, like, Ballester, like it's like this guy, a bunch of guys in a van, sitting down, and they just lost. Uh, they're Ballester place, and they just lost to Lion City Sailors, and they're like having a good time because they're they're at fourth place or something. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. It's my favorite. Uh, yeah, That's one of my favorite memes from them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's a funny guy, the, the SG Footy memes guy. Yeah. Yeah, Haugang needs a new striker. Definitely. 100%. <laughs> Get dollar bill ung. <laughs> dollar bill. <laughs> to buy over Haugang. Who, who said that? Who did? Who did? <laughs> yeah. Who did? Are you a fan of Billions, the Netflix show? A dollar bill? Dollar bill ung. No, it's been a while. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I had a moment of heart attack yeah. for a while. Yeah. How gang? <laughs> Typical how gang. Eh? Amazing game, but then some, they, they give in to a chance like this. Look at the comments on the how gang Alberix, uh game. Facts, huh? how gang the better team? <laughs> true? <laughs> that is true. I mean, I don't think true. I don't think anyone could disagree with that fact. You can see the holes there outside, right outside the stadium. Yeah, I miss cool. being with them sometimes. It's been a while since I joined them. I think this season I've only been to like two games before COVID, mm-hmm. and that's it. Yeah, and 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 mad respect for the holes for not just supporting your team to a time like this, but. For actually, you know, keeping the safe distancing procedures and yeah. being responsible yeah. about it. 
it's cool that like, you can see in the camera that they're all spread out. Yeah. Like one yeah. meter apart and all. And yeah, they're all still having a good time. So Yeah. Shout out to them, man. Yeah. I think I think most uh most of the fan groups uh right. go down to the to the games. I don't I had a big shout out to the uh, the Tampanese Yellow Knights and the Ultra Eagles from Kila yeah. who I'm pretty sure are there in the stadium today because after uh, a very long time. But I wonder how the regu- I wonder what's the regulation like in the stadiums now. Like, are you allowed to vocally cheer for the team, like shout and bang drums, or are you just supposed to be there and just sit Click. down and watch, or can you like just shout goal and sit down, yeah. or like there's like a sign that says clap and then you like <laughs> <laughs> applause, applause. <laughs> But yeah, Nikesh, Nikesh has had good passes this game. Yeah, man. Most importantly, are you allowed to say referee Kai? Yeah, that's the only one that I most think, I think football this fans season, know. especially. Yeah, <laughs> can say referee Kai so many times. You know what we should do? We should do an end of season review after we are done with all this. Yeah. Yeah. We should. Guys. We should. Oh. All right. Comment. On the comment section now, if you guys want to see football la returning for end of season review after today, that'd be fun. Oh, that's a good shot by whoever that was from Adrian. Oi, <laughs> is it half time over at? Uh, at yeah, Tampanese it's half time over at Tampines Hub. All right. Today. Oh, that I can see the Archers yeah, Eagles so out there. I don't think they have drums with them, but I think they are nope. allowed to like chant. Yeah, I mean, bef- before they go in, they are swabbed and they have all been confirmed negative. So yeah, let's yeah, that, that that's safe. And uh, again, big shout out to everyone out there making this safe and making this possible for us to watch, yep. because it would have been a very easy. To, they should be shut the league down and i am for one i am glad they did not do that all right so right. i think we have half time at the our tampanese hub you know before he came just now i called it the old tampanese hub yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that old yeah <laughs> it is the newest of the law yeah okay i think it's we have time over at Hogan stadium all right, may I suggest that we take a break as well and we will return in 15 minutes to yeah. to bring you guys the latest updates and till that happens, we are going to keep this stream running and see you guys very soon. Peace. Thank you, Elevator Music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I shall see you in a bit. See ya.
Okay, you think second half is about second half is about to start. What's up? We are back just in time. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. Hope yeah, Kalan has scored three goals. Yeah. Yeah, that's a three. You can't eat in the stadium. Wow. Oh yeah. yeah Tony says you can't eat in the stadium. Yeah, fair enough, eh? Memedovic coming. Yep. Yeah, and is that with him? Yeah, is that one shot? So I think I think the most surprising result of today so far is that young lads uh, have scored three goals. Three goals! Wow, young lions, good on them. After after repeated bouts being at the bottom, bottom. finally not at the bottom, but. Second to bottom. <laughs> I think I think we are finally seeing what would have happened if Warriors stayed on. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go get the lights. I'll be back. Give me a moment. Yeah. Yeah. So, Ian for Yen says. All right. Game is kicked off at Tampines. Yep. Imagine seeing Albirex winning the league at Haugang Stadium. Probably the first time that you see the SPL trophy being lifted <laughs> at Haugang Stadium. Ooh. Hush. <laughs> first and only time. It'll be very interesting if it is 1-1 at Tampanese Geelang and the FAS guys have to decide where the trophy goes to. <laughs> yeah. Like right down to the last minute and they have no idea... Yeah, I wonder how they do in the Premier League. Do they have like two trophies? Maybe they have one replica and oh, like one real one. I don't know. I'm, I'm just they, assuming. They should, same. right? I mean, it's not like, Singapore where you can drive down the highway and 20 minutes later you'll be in Manchester. They probably delay the trophy ceremony, you know. Uh, maybe. Yeah, come on, Haugang. I, I see Mohamed Asli or Mohamed Hali on the actual chat say being very confident that that well as it stands they are winning the league yeah they are uh, so I for Ian is rooting for a Japanese win I'm rooting for a Tampanese win and a Geelong to lose, yeah. Haogang, maybe Haogang win would be nice. It's a consolation. Haogang win would be nice. Haogang win would be nice just because that would add drama to the last minute. Of yeah. The <laughs> just, you know, be the party pooper. Yeah. The king. Let's see, let's, let me take a quick look at the goals difference right now. So, oh, wow. Tam- so, 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 if... If both games were to draw, Tampanese and Alberex would be level on points, but uh, Alberex will win on goal difference. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. So Bal- Balester pulled the goal back right after the break. So Gelang cannot be that comfortable because. If there's one team around that you, I don't, I, I don't know if I'm seeing this wrong or right, but I it seems like there are a bunch of Albirex fans 
it, he, yeah, I mean, outside, they do have fans, eh? They do yeah, have and, fans. and and they're outside the field, right next to the holes as well. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit hard. Like an orange. The the game between Tampanese and um, Albrex had a lot of Albrex fans who were outside yeah. in the orange, yeah. Nice. And people say that the support for the league is dead. No, I, yeah. I, 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 I beg to differ. There's one guy in the Facebook comments who said, oh, I don't think they'll even get 20. And then within like two hours of him saying that, they sold out. <laughs> and I wanted Looks to post him. a picture. Of, yeah. I want to post a picture of it. Ooh, Albrex is on the break. Oh. This is where we... All right. They got to park the bus. Our friend Ayman Rishki is back. What's up, my man? Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> yes, it's Amsha. And Amsha's back. For one night only. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> we might be back for more. Not sure whether I'll be doing any more vlogs in the future, though. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, it's a reality, right? We both have life, life permanent jobs hard. and yeah. lives to live. So <laughs> Ooh, we do cool. what we can. I've I've been trying to think of what to do, you know, but the schedule is just crazy. We should ask our fans for creative ideas <laughs> that yeah. we can do for you guys that you like that doesn't require us going <laughs> and spending one week to edit an episode. Yeah, if you guys I think I think I like this. I like this kind of life live stream kind of stuff. Yeah. It's kind of fun. But once the stadium opens back, I don't think we'll be <laughs> doing this. <laughs> so I think I think I think as long as the stadiums are closed, then uh, we might be just doing this. I guess. I mean, we yeah. Could be doing yeah. This, I yeah. think as far as long as yeah. Oh, how gang how gang's on the Come run? How gang on the run? Come on, how yes. Come on, ah, friend. too much, too much, too much. From my bearded brother, Albrex. Well defended. So weird to see a bearded Japanese guy like that. Yeah. He's really bearded, man. Yeah. Usually like clean shaven or just stubbles. That's just oh, proper. Tampanese is on a good move. Tampanese is on a good move. Web to score, web to score. Come on. My ah, fantasy well defended Gilang. Game. Very well defended Gilang. Who remembers when Fundy Ahmad played for AX Amsterdam and Ronigan? Yeah, man. <laughs> I don't Fundy think he Ahmad played for AX. Uh, he trialed or something, right? He trialed, he trialed, yeah. But, uh, yeah, he's he's the first Singaporean to score in the cha- uh, in, in Europe, Champions right? League, yeah. Yeah, in the Champions League. League. <laughs> Against Inter Milan. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> amazing defense by Haugan there. Yeah. And Tampanese is knocking on the door, man. Right. I forgot to plug in my laptop. It's, gonna, it's about to die. Yeah, yeah I've been in my phone. It's about to as well. All right, it's good. All good. When AFC Cup and Champions League is back next year, do you think Tampanese Sailors and Geelong has a ch- have a chance to strive? I think Sailors would do well. I, re- mm-hmm. I really think L- Line City Sailors would do well. Uh... Because I think back when they were home United, they did well in in the AFC Cup. They won the zonal champions. Um, Tampines. How how far do you think Tampines could go in the Champions League? I think I think a victory in the Champions League is an achievement. Just one victory in the Champions League. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think points in the Champions League would be an achievement. But I, I think I think they need to. Get fresher legs in into the team. Yeah. You're not gonna win. I mean, you're barely gonna win a Premier League with some of those people they have. Apologies if there's any lag in our stream because this is really the first time we've yeah we 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 actually spoke about about streaming before, but this is the first time. <laughs> yeah, sorry. And and if you guys are wondering what we're doing, we're literally zooming each other. And streaming a Zoom onto YouTube, so, uh, so yeah. give us 
we will learn from this experience and then we will improve on how to do these things. Uh, Mr. Billy Bear has a very interesting. Oh, and Albrex goes. Ah, uh, no. I knew this was going to come. See yeah. how mellow my reaction is right now? Yeah. It's like kind of like I expected it to happen. Right. Oh, man. <laughs> There goes my interesting finish for the season. No, no, no! Don't count how don't count how gone out yet. Oh yeah, that's true. They they are the they are the team that will come up out of nowhere. It depends. It depends. <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if they're gonna play today. I mean, I think a lot of them are gonna be playing for contracts, right? So they should be playing to their best. That's true. Maybe that's why we've been seeing them playing better in the first half. That is true. And how at Tampines is piling on the pressure where our Tampines are. Again, another defensive error. Seriously, how gang rubbish keeper makes LB make LB Rex no mood. <laughs> Bernard oh, Poe. Man. I wonder who that guy is. <laughs> okay, we've we've had Germans commenting on the on the on the gate the, the match stream, Actually, and we've also had uh, Turkish people commenting right now. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> oh. If anyone doubted that people aren't watching the S League, I mean the Singapore Premier League, we've got people all over the world watching the <laughs> Singapore Premier League. Oh, Tampanese is looking good. Let's hope. Let's hope uh, they let's hope they get the two 0 and how gang scores yeah. an equalizer. That'd be nice. Yep. As it stands right now, Albrex is cruising into a Winning position because they have they are leading one nil. Yep. And Tampanese is losing. Is it? Oh. Imagine, wow! Imagine. How? What the? What is going How, on? What? <laughs> I am. What the? Seriously. What happened? How did that? Seriously, how did Tampanese how? not score? <laughs> I am speechless, guys. What was that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you imagine if you're the the guy who's with the trophy right now, where yeah. would you go? I'll go to Alga. <laughs> I go to Alga. He better uh, stand by his grab. Better better book it now because it's gonna take like maybe yeah, 10, 15 yeah. minutes for grab to come, you know. It's been raining, guys. FS, you listening, it's been raining. <laughs> yeah, don't grab hitch. It's not reliable. <laughs> uh, Tampanese. I honestly feel one nil to Albrex would be a disservice to Haugang right now because I think they have played much better than that. What's new? Yeah, I think Zerdi Memorovic that Tampanese just actually hit the bar. That's how close uh, they have right. come tonight. Wow. Who's the other Haugang guy with the short pants? Couldn't see his face. Is wearing Zach Anderson's pants. <laughs> Man, second half LB Rex looks like they're pushing even more. Yeah, I think I think they finally remembered that they should try and win this game. Yeah. And you boys in orange better play for the <laughs> play for play the patch, man. Come on. Yeah. Play for your contract at least. Yeah. <laughs> Tampanese needs a new defense. Yeah, Tampanese defense is quite old. The combined age of the Tampanese defense is... How old would that be? <laughs> Especially when they have Bai on as well. Yeah, I mean, Bennett is in his 40s. Bai would be late 30s. <laughs> that is quite a bit better. You can put two young Lions... Uh, no, three young Lions players and it will equal to the <laughs> Good defense. Oh. Ah. She's so nerve wracking, man. Yeah. Iron for you and says he's currently playing football manager 21. We would like to know which team you chose in that. And 
Can you play? Can you play Singapore Premier League on Football Manager? I don't know. I haven't played in a long time. I haven't played any football related games since FIFA '98. <laughs> 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 okay, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2002 FIFA World Cup. I had that game. Yeah. Well, so sorry, Ian, for the lag is annoying. But could we interest you in picking a match, switching it on in? your other browser and listening to us on this channel just mute the other browser the other window and listen to us we can see the lag too and it is annoying us as well so we will improve on these in the upcoming live streams but for now we need your patience and understanding too to to make this happen oh he is playing spl team nice. i wonder what team that is The so second half has all been Albrecht so far. Then it's for the two. Yeah. I see Yuki Ichikawa is finally back to his former self today. It's another Japanese attack that that petered out. And there's an LB Rex corner right now. Mm -hmm. I'm actually just focusing on the Hougang LB Rex game. Cause just give me one goal, lah, guys. Is that hard to ask for? Oh yeah, it's hard because we got no striker. We have a yellow card at Tampines Hub. I'm not too sure who got that. Oh, that is a nasty tackle. And almost a fight. That was Amy Reka, I think, who got a yellow really? card. Yeah. <laughs> is it me or is it weird that Fidel's Kasim is the one that's usually seen giving the instructions and standing up? He was quite a bit of a talent. Did Tampines score? Young... Who? Did Tampines score? Tampines did score. No, no, they didn't. Okay, I thought it was. No, no. Risky play by Geelong there. Oh. What are they doing? Geelong just wants to give us a heart attack. What, what do you think of this new trend of people, teams playing out from the back? The goalie doesn't pump it, but they try to play out from the back. Uh, I guess I think I think it, it's more flow again. I I think it's nicer to watch as well. But sometimes it becomes annoying because you just want to send the ball out front ASAP, you know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm not really. I'm not really updated when it comes to like tactics in football. That's true. Me neither. Yeah. Am I so. <laughs> I, I mean, I can play like futsal, maybe put me on the pitch. I wouldn't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't played an actual 11 side game for quite a while. The last time I played an 11 no side game, I, I scored an own goal. <laughs> <laughs> the, I was trying to the clear, played... clear the ball, but it went in. <laughs> the, the, the last time I played 11 side game, I was so bad, I got subbed out in 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes that's how much I lasted oh Alberex looking good what happened what happened to the half first half how gone ah Tampani so close Boris shoots over the bar you know why Webb needs to score Webb <laughs> Boris needs to score he's my captain 
who scored for Celis? Mm-hmm. Let me check that know. information out for you guys right now. It's three one there now. Sharil Isha, Sharil Isha scored. Wow. Interesting. I think Dale is having audio issues again, or is that me? Ah uh, no, no, that's me. That's me. Right. Yeah, I just switched my mic on for a bit. Right. Off for a bit rather. Can you guys still hear me if I switch the gain off a bit? Say something. Hello, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can. Okay, perfect. Let's keep it at that level. But I was I realized I was picking up a lot of background noise, so right. try not to. It's a free kick for Albirex again. And for Yenses, Warriors could come back next season. Now that is something I hope for as well. But that being said, think, I really think. want it to be a sustainable entry. I do not want them to come in then two seasons later go out. You know, like what we see local teams do. Yeah. You see, Fido's Fido's got him again at the touchline. Mm. I'm always wondering if if Clement leaves, will he be the one who takes over? He should be, isn't it? He should be. I mean, right now, if he's the one taking the lead, I don't see you guys going and getting a very, very well well reputed, uh, you know, coach <laughs> in. Yeah. So maybe a a return for Filippo. Maybe or maybe Agba Nawas. Agba Nawas would be good, but I don't think Agba Nawas is gonna yeah. return to Singapore for any time soon. I saw uh, Idil Sharin the other day. Mm-hmm. I was like, thinking, hmm, what if he could? But then I realized, no, he's still in, he's still in the MSL. He's still I coaching wonder, in the MSL. I wonder what he was doing in. Is the MSL still running or no? No, nah, they they're done. They're done. Yeah. Okay, by hockey has got himself a yellow card. I think the frustration starting to 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 sneak into. Yeah. It's going to be a very interesting uh, Gavin interview again today. I think. Yeah. And I think Noor Ali is going to be over the moon if it stays like this. Yeah, I mean, what what an achievement would that be? I mm. mean, from from wooden spoonies or at least very near the bottom to AFC qualification. Yeah. And that it, it, it's like redemption for Iqbal as well. Ah oh, yep. man, no, no, brawl, how gang? Brawl at how gang, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, the the tension that we were feeling, it's it's it. Everyone's feeling it, even on the pitches right now. Yeah, man. How do you keep level headed in this situation? Yeah, man. Not stadium. Imagine. <laughs> Screaming our heads off at people. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm like pretty chill right now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> ah. Oi. Oh. Welcome to, welcome to Match Day SG Live Reacts where our, our detailed analysis are. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> oh, Tanjung Pagas come on, Lewis Junior. I think he, sh- I think so- How Gang should sign him next season, man. Yeah, man. I mean, he cannot be that expensive if he yeah, plays for. Uh, yeah. Tanjung Pagas. Yeah, pretty sure. I honestly thought Tanjung Pagas had a decent squad to like kind of at least make it not bottom of the table. But if I'm not mistaken, yeah. they haven't even won a single game, like zero no, wins for entire game, season. Yeah. The Japanese looking good. Japanese is, oh, Boris this wants a penalty. Disappointing everyone. Yeah, and Boris. Geelong's like the big, biggest party pooper for this season, I guess. Ah, come on, man! Like, I mean, if I was Geelong, if if Warriors are still around and Home United was still around, and yeah. Warriors could be Home United to prevent them from winning a trophy. I would, I would want that to happen. <laughs> Apparently, someone has sent Gavin out. What do you think of Gavin that? Gavin out? Seriously? 
No, but nah, nah, nah. Gavin, Gavin, Gavin has at least brought you guys this close to winning, which I don't yeah. think others could have. I think Gavin's done a good job at the police. Oh yeah. I mean, if you really look at it, they don't really have young superstar players. Yeah. If you look do. at the younger players, yes, they have famous names, but they are all quite old by now. So I think Gavin's done a pretty good job from what with what he has. Yep. Which which of the young players have impressed you this season? That's an interesting question. Uh, honestly, I don't know the answer to that because I don't know the ages of half the people <laughs> on the pitch right now. <laughs> yeah, the under 23s. And I honestly have no answer to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Who's who's yours? Oh, definitely Farhan Zulkifli. Oh yeah. Okay. He's very young, isn't he? Yeah. 16 still a teenager yeah wow uh, for a moment I thought the Elvira scored another goal and I realized it's replay. replay we have a comment in the the official chat official live stream that says we need more forest leaves in Singapore yeah we have a Bill Ng but <laughs> right so it's not it's not People who have money, yeah, it's people who are willing to spend the money on local football. Yep, like Uncle Tio, Tio Hock Singh. And Mr. Billy Bear says, "Imagine Gara Gara Bola joining this chat. That would be a pleasure. Oh, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Met them once when Persija came here. Mm-hmm. Cool guys, man. I th- I met them Gara-gara once more Bola. when." Uh, I met them once more when Singapore played Indonesia. Yeah. I wasn't there, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I went with... I went Ng with... Ng owned Salford. Is it true? Did it? I don't know. No, I think you're, you're, you're confusing Bill Ng with Peter Lim. Peter Lim owned Salford with uh, the Man United players. That it's a water break out of Tampines Hub. So right now, oh. we're approaching the. We got twenty minutes left. Where's the, where's the trophy heading to? Uh, at this point, they must they must take it to Haugang. Yeah, finally, trophy celebration at Haugang. <laughs> Do we maybe get like second place medals? No? Oh, no. Maybe maybe you can convince them to keep you on the cabinet for one night as well. <laughs> it still sucks that our cap- trophy trophy cabinet is empty. Oh. What happened in the second half? Why are they playing like this? I think it's a fitness issue as well. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You're playing against one of the fitter squads. Fitter squads. Did you do you see a article by Lion City Sailors that they they published it in their own uh, website to say this season was not a failure. We did mm-hmm. quite well actually, and I mm-hmm. agree. Yeah, yeah, I mean they they had a rough start, but at the end of the day, <sighs> I think Tampanese. they. They got. I think at, at the end of the day, I think they did a good job. Yeah, where, where they ended up for the way they started. Mm-hmm. Japanese, come on. I'm gonna need to take a short break for a while from the stream. Yep, yeah, sure. I'll yeah. be back. I uh, will. I'll be continuing while you go take a quick break. All right. So I'm just stopped and stepped out of the chat for a bit. He will be back very soon. Oh, we can see a nice shot of the Ultras Eagles. 
uh, having their go. And yeah, it's very, very, very nice to see fans back in stadiums. And a big shout out to everyone who made this possible. By that's that's a big shout out to all our healthcare workers and everyone out there ensuring a safe return to our normal life in the middle of a pandemic. So Tampanese is, is looking good. Tampanese knows they have to score and Kielang, no, they have to win. That's going to be a very interesting last few minutes uh, in the Singapore Premier League where we are in for one of the closest finishes of recent memory. As it stands, Alberix need to hold on to these results because if they do, they will win this season. As it stands, Tampanese need to do something special because they need to win this game to even have a chance of winning this season. Because right now, how it, the way it stands, Albrecht is leading the table with 32 points. Tampanese is, is second with 28 points. That is with the current points as it is. Lion City Sailors with a very secure 3-1 scoreline in third place with their secure AFC Cup slot, ready to go to Asian football in their first season trying. Uh, but as a consequence of them being 3-1 up against Ballester and Galen being 1-0 up against Tampanese, Kielang is in fourth place and going to AFC Cup football. That would be a welcome return to Asian football for them as well. I think that will be after 2010, if I'm not mistaken. You guys might have to correct me on that. Um, and uh, yeah, so, so we have plenty to play for right now because uh, Balaste Khalsa does not look like they are going to 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 overturn that score Geelang could hang on to this score and qualify for AFC Cup uh, slots but Tampanese really really should be going for the win today it would be it would take something there would be something wrong in their head if they are not going for the win right now mm-hmm. iron for you and Say how about what do you think about the World Cup's qualifiers? Yes, I think that is something we are all looking forward to. And we, I mean, trust me, there's no one out there who wants local football return to return. I mean, national team football to return more than uh, us, we at Match Day SG. But we need it to be in a safe, sustainable manner. So if safety is what, if we need more days, more time for us to return safely. I am all for waiting a bit more uh, because I think the last thing we need is people traveling to World Cup qualifiers and getting COVID-19. So uh, let's have some patience and and hopefully sometime in 2021, I will see you guys, all of you in a stadium in Singapore football. And if that doesn't work, I would like to see you guys in more more uh, more of these live streams all right i'm just I'm back. back yeah so you're having a chat about uh world cup qualifiers mm-hmm. are you you looking forward to it i mean would you hope for it to be back one day soon i hope so but with fans with all of us being in yep. there like normal though i thought it'd be like normal but you know, anything as close enough to normal. Yeah, as normal as possible. How Haugang, Haugang's got it. Uh, nah, how? <laughs> two, 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 root one from Haugang. Come on, look at this guy. Oh, wow, they finally changed Ooh. the camera angle. <laughs> Why is the color so different? Yeah, man. Like, the, the you can, when you put side by side, you see the difference. Our oh, Gelang is doing an amazing job. Being the party poopers, yeah? yeah. Being the party poopers, but man, they are 
they are playing for their AFC Cup slot. Nine shots for Hagang. It's not like they're parking the bus or anything. They have chances, but they just can't convert it. Uh. Yeah, but it, it is a story of two halves, though. If you remember, before half time was four for Haugang, or five for Haugang, yeah. and one for Elbrex. Elbrex has just been putting in the work. Yeah. Now I wonder what the Elbrex coach had to say during half time. Uh, probably wouldn't understand. Yeah. <laughs> Even probably if he in Japanese. Been... Probably, <laughs> probably the translator will be like telling Fairo Hassan, you know, like, okay, this is what I said. <laughs> you guys suck. You got to play. <laughs> yeah. You all want to get a trophy. You all got to play like as if you won the trophy. <laughs> so who's the referee over at Tampines? Goal at oh. Tampines. Yes, one all. One all. Now. How long is the score? No, how can I ask? Well, Tampines still has to score. Bay scored, is it? Bay scored, is it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think it's their own goal, isn't it? Oh, is it was already going in. Maybe. Oh, Clemen, you finally see him. Looping header, wow. Bay, right? Bay, yeah. Must yeah be it's one one. Must be the pizza. <laughs> Oh man, I forgot about the pizza hut. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Now let's see what Haugen can do. But I mean, as I said, even if Haugen were to score and draw this, based on goal difference, Albrecht would win. So yeah. Tampines have to win this game to even have a chance of winning. Oh, Elbrex is knocking on the door again. Hmm. Ten more minutes to go. Nervous? Yeah, man. Can Hong Kong at least get does. one back in? Yeah, let's see what this does to the AFC Cup slots. Uh, we are waiting for update on the Google form, but yeah. Yep, so as it stands, Gelang is still going to the AFC Cup because they are one point ahead of Ballester Khalsa. Yep. Oh, whoa! That was close for Stags. How going on the attack again? I never Come knew on. it was this. I never knew it was this hard to look at two games at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clement out. Hmm. I mean, I agree from a neutral perspective because he's had his chance. Yeah, he had, he's had three seasons, yeah. two bad ones, and just even the one, one good, good one. one, he should have done better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shafigan is in now. Let's just hope we concede a free kick. Oi! Is it a penalty at time, please? No, right? Is it though? No, no, no. No, just, just a, just an injury. I'd like to see Anders go up and try again. You only got nine minutes left, guys. So, might as well. Yeah. Oh, come on, Boris. How did you? Come on, Web. Web, you got to score. Give me them precious <laughs> fantasy points. Yeah, time for a change for Haugang. I think we need. I thought we had the winning formula last season, but we didn't. <laughs> we just had the players. I think you could have done. You could have built on last season. Yeah, but we didn't. We sold off our players. Yeah. We lost Faris Ramli. We lost Afik Yunus. We lost uh, Zilfami Arifin. 
Yeah. We did replace them. I mean, we, we had a replacement in... Shawa, we had Shawal Anwar come over. And Shawal and Anders were good replacements. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I think your problem was letting Stipe go. Yes. I think that, that was, that's one of the main problems for this season was letting Stipe go without finding a replacement. It doesn't have to be a an exact replacement or a, or a replacement at his level or standard. But, you know, somebody that can fit his role. Which is not many people. Yeah, that's true. Not many in local football context anyway. Alright, John Webb on a massive run Free down the flank. Gang. So he, uh, nope. Not uh, too easy. Too then. easy. You know, it could, it might be too easy, but <laughs> look at uh, how how Gang has conceived. All right, this drama. Drama all. over at Tampines, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna let's take a look at that man. What is going on? Is I the drama the involved? With web? To, no, I think the referee wanted to give a uh, 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 have a chat with Darren Tay and Tampines wanted a, the quick start. Yeah, I understand Farah. why they want it. Farah is angry. He is screaming from the sidelines. Farah looks like he enjoys his dinners now. He deserves it. He earned yeah, all he the dinners it. he yeah. wants. <laughs> Iqbal Hussein and Gelang, man. Uh, that, that, does that feel weird to you? It feels very weird to me, you know, because... For the past how many seasons he's been playing he he's been playing in Haugang. It's and a bit weird. It's almost as weird as seeing Shawal in 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 Gay uh, in Haugang, in right? Gay yeah. Colors. Hey, how about Colors, yeah. yeah. It just doesn't fit. Farhan is down. Oh my goodness. So close at Tampanese. Ah. Farhan is down. He's up again. No. See, Clement probably heard my comments that saying that he's barely at the touchline. <laughs> I think he's. I think. I think this game is his deciding fate. Yeah, I. I, I don't know if this even this can save him though. To I don't honest. think it can. To be honest. Ah, it it really up, depends on what the owner thinks. If the owner thinks this is good enough, then sure, why not? But if Bilang really wants more from Haugang, then he should. Yeah. yeah. Be interesting. Next year, the uh, FA is back again. So it'll be interesting if Bilang wants uh, another run. <laughs> I don't think he'll be running for another. I, I, yeah, I, I don't must know. have learned the lesson by now. Yeah. But I, I remember that year, it was like all the grand uh, grand entrance, you know, they had a press conference at Fullerton and <coughs> Haugang press conference at Fullerton. It's, that it was the year grand. we started. Yeah. yeah. That was the year we started, started, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, go, I remember going for the press conference. It was so cool. And then people impressed. getting arrested and locked uh, yeah. up, and, and then to this still to this day, no charges ever being brought. Yeah, because I I remember I was uh I was from work when I was working back in SGH at that time. Uh, oh, there's a yeah. Go on, I, sorry. Yeah, I went. I went. I heard that there were reporters and there was some drama going on at FAS, so I decided to you know be a busybody, capo, just go there and uh find out what's going on. Then I realized uh, there's actually the uh, B division game going on at the same time as the <laughs> whole thing is going on. So it's like really weird. Yeah. Uh, school football game going on, and then you have the people whole, getting arrested. People getting arrested, police presence all over. Yeah, it's a very promising free and kick. It was that year where I remember there were there was like heavy police presence at the uh, Gelang and uh, Gelang and how right. Long Yes, they bought the, so the many un, the K9 K9 units. units yes, yeah, it's crazy, man. I, I, I honestly don't understand and I don't know why you need uh, that kind of security at the Gelang and Haugang game because I mean, uh, 
different set of fans, rivals and all. But I, off the off, out of the stadium, I don't think, I don't think there's any hard feelings. You, you and you know, I banter have, and all. But yeah, yeah. you and I have gone to so many games. Uh, so now and I mean, how many times have you seen a physical altercation take place? Once, only once. Once. Yeah, I think I I can think of same thing and yeah yeah and even in that it was just mostly it wasn't that physical it was just like yeah it was just squaring up screaming and like up. squaring up and like I push you you push me okay that's it yeah and then then that that settled itself very fast yeah though. but that was dra- <laughs> that was drama that was really and and <laughs> and it was in Geelang and Haugang. It yeah. was uh, Warriors and it was Warriors, yeah, it's my team and your team and we're sitting on the same stream together. No <laughs> fights, nothing. Yeah, it was I think if, it was even me, then, yeah. even I mean, then when when Home United was around and you know how much yeah. how Gang Hul's uh anti Home yeah, United. I, yeah. We have friends who are Home United fans. We still have friends who are Home United fans and we still talk to them. Yeah. Like like I still talk with Eddie, we still we still yeah. we still hang out and all. I think I think I think it's a very it's not fair to look at European ultras yeah, culture and compare and them to we are the same. Yeah. yeah, it's very different because at the end of the day we know that we finish our game we are going to go to the nearest coffee shop or whatever, and we're whatever, going to see whatever. everybody's going to be there. Yeah, everyone's going to be there. And then every national team game, everybody's going to sit together and sit together. Yeah. yeah so there's really no. No hard rivalry of sort, of sorts, you know. No, yeah. I mean, there's no true derby as such, lah. But I mean, yeah. Yes, Easter derby there, but for a fact, I know the Haugang, uh, the Geelang, and Tampere's fans will sit together after this and have a cup of coffee or what. Yeah. We have injury. All right, over at Tampere's hub. Who's that on the stretcher? Yuki, I think. Ah, I think if Yuki if they have team. to play, if they have to play the last two five minutes without Yuki, that will be interesting, because ladies and gents, we are down to the last, essentially at a time, of this season, and right now it is Alberic Nigata who is going to win. It would take an extraordinary turn of events. Yeah, for... I think I think the trophy is already at Haugang Stadium now. Yeah, it should be. And if it changes, no one's going to blame FAS for taking it to the wrong place. I think Ian asked, "Do you like the new Singapore kit?" No, looks like a badminton kit. <laughs> for real. I think the red one is okay, but the Please. blue one. I have an issue with the red on the blue. I would prefer if it's white and blue, but it's just I me. Mean, I'm glad. I'm glad the FAS logo is on, but I was hoping that yeah. they wouldn't that's, be so glaring. You know, that's another. Uh, that's another. I think controversial point. Are oh. you? Some people are against the FAS badge, and some people are for the FAS badge. Yeah. Where do you stand on that? I stand on the I'm okay with the FAS badge because yeah, it's international standards. I, I think most national teams use their FA badge. Yeah, me too. I stand with it as well. Yeah. And, like in the World Cup, they uh, use their FA badge, and yeah. most of them and, at least. Oh, just for Gang. No, how? How do you screw that up? Come on, Shafiq. Come on, Shafiq. Come on. Gary. I think there's more drama at Geelang because yeah. all Geelang players seem to have lost their ability to walk. Everyone's on the floor. Because they know that they're already going to the AFC Cup and... I mean, would you blame and, them? And, and, and it's... Tampines are their, their rivals, yeah. you know? They're derby rivals, yeah. so make things difficult for them. Would uh, I wouldn't blame them, to be honest, yeah, for doing that them, right yeah. now. But yeah, LCS has scored five. Five. Yeah, wow. And so as it says, there is literally no way for Ballas Tecasa to make it back. So Geelang is guaranteed an AFC Cup slot, even if they were to lose this. Nice. 
congrats to congrats, the Angels Eagles making it back to AFC Cup after a span of 10 years, almost a decade. Yeah. But I think, you know, we come from the from the hooves, right? We wanted to go overseas to watch the games, uh, for the AFC Cup games. Like, you know, have actual proper away days, finally. Unfortunately, it didn't happen, so... It's pretty sad. Yeah, what, what a year to have a What a year. Okay. You yeah. know, the year that we actually got into the AFC Cup and didn't even finish the competition because the whole <laughs> team got, just got scrapped yes. out the window. So it's we, like we as if do, we played for nothing. We do have a free kick at Haugang. Yep. Oh. Oh. We were freaking at how gang and drama at the bottom of this. I don't know what happened, but I think Kiba Nasogura got so in the face by someone. I'm pretty surprised Web isn't the cause of all the drama, though. I mean, yeah, he must have learned a lesson by now, no? I hope he has. I think we are in the dying seconds of. Uh, and Haugang's game is done. Lionel is pissed. The Haugang team is done. And yeah, it's... that has... We have a new has... <laughs> champion. Yes, we do have a new... Well, what's the phrase? Hail to the new king. The same as the old king. Yeah. <laughs> as, as... Well, congrats, Avirex um, Nigata. Nigata. How are you feeling right now? Uh, it's the same thing every year so mm-hmm. I don't know uh, man I really wanted Tampines to to do this but I was hoping for a, for a bigger climax to the end of the season yeah but yeah yeah I would I would Tampines, agree I think Tampines was relying too much on Haugang doing them favours yeah no Ali is on the touchline is like just Play the ball to the corner. Even if you lose, it's fine. Come on, you got already qualified. I think I think Noali is probably over the moon now. He should be. Like and you wouldn't you wouldn't think that Gelang would be in the run for AFC spot. Yeah, yeah. Not with this squad they have. Yeah, and they did it. Like they they did it. So kudos to them. And kudos to Gelan for like holding out. Like yeah, Gale, Tampanese has been coming at them in waves for the last two minutes. But yeah. all of that will not matter right now because despite the result of this oh, game. Oh, it's a goal for Tampanese. Is it a goal for Tampanese? No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm lagging a bit. What? Oh god god flag is it? Yeah, I think so. Damn, way, if, that was, if that was a goal for Webb, I would have gotten my yeah. points for my <laughs> Either way, from I think the, the ref uh, is gonna blow the whistle. Yep, yeah, he should. Yeah. It's almost a minute past now. Albrex fans okay, outside no. the stadium and Albrex players are going over to say thank you to them. Again, a big shout out oh. to all those fans who Gelang went to is just gonna <laughs> Gelang is just trying to keep the ball away and they did it. They did it. Right, Gelang is in the AFC. Look at them celebrate. Oh, oh. I am I am Sparks are flying behind okay. you. Sorry, uh, yeah, I'm I'm actually I actually oh, wow. my sleep, But Meme is that. that's, that's a that's a fight. Pissed. Yeah, that's a fight. He is pissed. Oh, there will be consequences to yeah, yeah, yeah. come on. I mean, it is an emotional game, but you are a professional player. Keep it. Keep yeah. a lead on it. What is going on? I think I think it's time for people like Farah to step in and yeah, yeah, yeah. take control. It's good to see so much passion though, but I think it is time to uh Darren Tay should stop making it worse. <laughs> yep. Don't they just kindly walk off the pitch? Yes. You guys, 
Come on, you guys are in the AFC Cup. They have an error on the full-time score. That's what is it. You're going to see it soon. So I'm watching and I'm watching another stream. <laughs> oh so, well. Oh. And and in other news, Young Lions won four. Like Young Lions won, yeah. Four one. <laughs> how, how bad is Tanjung Pahang? Well, look at the celebrations. I mean, to be honest. Tampanis only have to bring themselves for how this thing turned out because yeah. when we restarted, they were they had such a big gap. Yeah, uh, they had a huge gap from everyone else. Yeah, but unfortunately, uh, good result for Ian, me on my fantasy league. Yeah, iron for Ian. I'm sorry, but Singapore Cup for this season has has been suspended. So. Unfortunately, they will not have any Singapore Cup this season. This It'd be is crazy the if they actually of... did it. Yeah, I mean. But this is the end of Singapore football for 2020. It has been a very tough year. And at the end of it, Albrex Nigata are the champions again. And Tampanis Rovers have qualified to the group stage of the AFC Champions League, which is a big, big step up for them. And joining them in Asian football in the AFC Cup are Lion City Sailors and Geelong International. Lion City Sailors for the first time ever because they were just formed as a club. And Geelong International, first time again since, if I am not wrong, 2010. Nice. So before we... End this. Any last thoughts, Amsha? Uh, congrats to all the winners, and uh, yeah, I hope to see next year's uh, league to be much better. Uh, hopefully, a local side will win it this time. Every year I say that, but yeah, hopefully, we see a local side win the ne- the league next year. Other than that, yeah, I think. It's been a good season. It's been tough. It's been good. It's been dramatic and emotional, especially coming from a Haugang fan. But it is what it is. This is Singapore football and it's exciting. <laughs> If it's nothing else, it's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, for me as well. So I, I do hope for a local team to win something again next year. But that being said, I am happy that if a foreign team was to win, it is Alberex because they have done so much for local football. Yep. They have engaged our communities. And it is very evident by the fact that fans travel all the way to Haugang to stand outside the stadium to watch the result of this game. So uh, kudos to uh, Alberex for done so far. Thank you for having our local players. And... And congratulations to Farouk Hassan and uh, Harul Nizam for winning the Singapore Premier League this season. Yeah, and with, with, Hassan. With, <laughs> with that, I am leaving. I'm going to leave you guys with my final thought for the day, which is, I hope DPMM never comes back. That is my final thought. Of the day. Yeah, same. I echo your sentiments on that. <laughs> DPMM stay out of the league. Yeah. All right, guys, we are going to stop this live feed right now. Thanks. Uh, for thank you so much us. for joining us. Thank you, everyone who commented. We will be doing an end of season relief as Amsha and me, we will be doing it again. So, uh, yeah, let's see you guys very soon on that.